it's just a few hours until that legendary OCG ban list, but let's see how the market's doing before that. Don't beg 30% of you that have not smashed the ever living crap out of that subscribe button. Make sure you guys smash it so of course you don't miss out more Oz content. So what's going on out here in the big, big old void of Photon Hypernova? Well, it's been a little while since I've peeked into this set. These mirror jades are still $375. Wow, Kashtiro Rise Hearts. Um, these actually shot right back on up here at the 200 plus dollar range here. 300, 304, 275, yeah. We're orbiting back up to the $300 range for these. That is beautiful. That's what you like to see out here for the beautiful higher rarities for some of this stuff. Uh, the Grand Goggins, eh, 185. Captain Carey, wow, 130 still. Tri-Brigade Bucephalus two, about 100 bucks. Nothing's really changed there. Your Photon Hypernova boxes, though, these are maintaining some very strong value. $75 for these. Very, very good. Um, let me push on down here. I mean, Thrust is going to be your more expensive one. Um, not really surprised about that. $65. Bucks. These, uh, surprisingly, um, we've got a very long stretch here of people trying to undercut themselves. But to be honest with you, it's it's not doing too horrible on the market. There has been a little bit of a push away from Thrust, though. But Thrust into Evenly is really good, this format. I see that, of course, Race Loth here coming in about 50 bucks. Hey, these have these have pushed down. It's kind of like the Paralinio effect, where Paralinio was a really, really good card for a very long time. And then, you know, Bandless Season came, and it got pressured down very, very easily. Um... Kish Tirthios is 35 bucks. Regular Rise Hearts, $14. Yeah, you got a lot of pushdown happening here, which, I, once again, I think is good. Inscriptions are 6 bucks. If you want my honest opinion, I still think having a set of the Seeker Rare is not a bad thing. I, I think that this card looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's just, man, by the time we got the card for the counter, well, it already got cleaned up. So, Big Welcome Labyrinths, 5 bucks. Waybridges, 5 bucks as well. That's actually pretty good. I, uh, I'm happy to see that. Galaxy has Photon Dragons for three bucks. That is not a happy time to see. That's so ridiculous to me that those are what we're dealing with right now. But for the most part, yeah. Sneaky C's are 45 cents. Huh. And the more you know. Time Wizard of Tomorrow! Woo! Spooky, right? Well, these bad boys right here. You know, they have maintained the longest $2 streak that I think I've seen for a card that's just going up. Like, good stuff to this card. Uh, I mean, Insta Fusion it out for the meme aside. Um, I still think it's very, very interesting to see. Uh, Celine's. Do you remember when Celine was a lot of money? I remember, and it was it was not a fun time. You're looking at six bucks right now, seven dollars. I'm glad to see the both versions have kind of synced up, but wow, how the market rejected this so fast. I mean, yeah, the loss of Halky Fibrax didn't help. It really didn't help. Amazing skim. You guys remember when this set's so bad, right? Now everybody and their mother wants everything high rarity purely. Um, I will say that I think that this set's going to go through a renaissance later in its life. I still do think that because everybody's going to want to play purely. And then you're like, oh, well, i got to go buy these. Right now you're at 100 bucks. My friend purely is $95. Um, pretty memories, 90 bucks. Oh, look at that. All three top end cards in the set are high rarity purely cards. Wow, still eighty dollars for these sold. High rays are sixty three bucks. Uh, Nors are eighties. Uh, Nanis are fifties. Ugh. One for ones are still forty five bucks. Okay. Minkanko Reflection Rondos thirty sevens. Not much has really changed there, I suppose. Uh, Reynolds ninety four bucks. Those still up and up. Car Troopers thirty two dollars. Your Hydrants are twenty six bucks. Um, this is also, I love this one. Regular base ready pure. These are still $26 and people are, uh, I don't know why people are shocked about that either, to be honest with you. It amazes me that people, um, look at like all this purely stuff. They see the results in the OCG and they're like, nope, it's not going to do good. Nope. Doesn't translate. And you're just like, 
stop it does or he may's these have these have gotten very cheap down to twenty dollars now for these good stuff pretty memories eh, it looks like we're 15 bucks i see yeah you're looking at about 15 dollars for those that's not horrible in my opinion um my friend purely's are 14 bucks so both of the spell cards you're looking at forty dollars forty dollars and 75 on purely's themselves that's a lot just to play this deck. Mankongo Water Rubber SK is 10 bucks. Uh, from this point on, your market just pushes down pretty easily, I feel like. All right. The Ice Jade uh, Ag Green. You know these are $2 plus shipping. I don't know how many of you guys really pay attention to this or care, but yeah, you're, you're sitting at a solid $2 card for the most part here. I mean, yeah, Sword Soul makes this um, on the off chance that they actually need this. Um, and also gives a lot of these other decks um, some very, very, very fine option trees as well, as long as you can make level 10 synchros. If you can't make level 10s, well then pack it up and call it a day. Uh, tunings. We looked at this earlier in the week. We already know how bad that this is going. $90, 90 bucks, and then 80 were your last sold listings. Uh, you're looking at, for the most part here, the way it looks, about a general same here uh, 95 for Italian 100 you look about 100 110 right now for um, decent rarity versions of these I mean once again like you've got the whole um, dualist Nexus thing coming up here where you say gets massive power-ups global electric boogaloo 2 is coming out you have a lot of good things coming out in the set that you need to keep an eye on here and I mean, tuning's one of those things. Keep an eye on. Same thing with Junk Speeder here. I don't think this card's ever going to go too crazy because it's a one of in the deck as it is, but just to kind of keep an eye on and see how things are going. Card's still doing relatively well. Dino Mist Charge! Still three bucks post shipping. Um, basically two dollars after shipping. Not much has really changed on this. Howling is 30 cents. Still one of the cheapest deck cores that you can get. I mean, Dynamist Howling was the thing that made this deck actually even semi-viable the last time it was competitive five years ago, I think. Totem Dragons. Oh boy, look, a card that needs a reprint for Edison format. Oh boy, very expensive. God, these are $32, 30 bucks, $38. And they're actually selling, by the way. Um, it might not be what you want to see, but once again, thank you, Edison Format, for causing value in the market. Speaking of Edison Format, hey, look, it's an old super rare that also has old application. Oh, boy. Who would have guessed? 30 bucks, 35 and $30, um, but they're only $100 right now for what's on the market. To be fair, these were always worth something back in the day. Um, just seeing that these are way more now. Oof. Uh, Prismas, I don't need to tell you that this has gone up. Uh, you've got Vice's Starfrost interactions. You have Edison format. You have Gate Guardian interactions. This card has revolutionized itself out here in terms of its playability and value on the market. All copies. Eight bucks for dual terminals. Twelve listings. Twenty-eight listings. Twelve. Yeah, Prisma. Prisma is expensive. Destructive Daruma Cannon. Fair heads up, these are still four bucks, and you have 118 listings of them on the market, and it doesn't look like you're going to see a cooldown on these anytime soon. All right, uh, Crystal Bonds. God, these are hundred bucks for the ultras. Uh, Thirty bucks for the secret versions, uh, and then six bucks still for the legendary duels versions for some of these. Interesting. Aromatherapy or aromatherapy jasmine here. You know these are those verified. It's twenty bucks for these right now. Think about that. Uh, Yamada Dragon. I just wanted to point out here that you've still got only eighteen listings for for these. You've got very low listings on some of these things. Nice meme, but you got one hundred two listings on the ultras. And then Blaster. Oh boy, buckle up. We'll see how this goes later on today. I'm not going to touch this, though. But what do you guys think about today's market? Please, so comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I will see your beautiful faces back here in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Ah!
る。Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.